Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy, on Thursday, the 19th of January, 2012. How are ya? This is my week 147 post-op, week 79 maintenance with the lap band. Uh, what an interesting week. Um, literally, my husband has been home for 12 days. Love him to death, but not the best space with a busy life to, to make uh, this particular YouTube video. So thus, I've waited till Thursday. It's been less than an hour since I dropped him off. Uh, an important week for me in the journey. Uh, last week, I hit one and a half years in maintenance. Actually, Sunday, the 15th, was that exact date marker. I hit goal. Well, let's start. For those of you who don't know me, uh, 148 weeks ago, in March of 2009, March 17th, 2009, I started the pre-op liquid diet. Uh, March 23rd, 2009 was my surgery day, lap band. Dr. David Daftian here in Los Angeles, also a lap band patient and surgeon and uh, a wonderful man. Uh, and I started 244.6 pounds with the goal to lose 99 pounds, which would put me at 145.6 pounds. I did that. In the process, I've changed my life. Um, it took me 68 weeks to lose 99 pounds. I was not a fast loser. I was a slow loser. Um, my average, average 1.4 pounds loss per week, roughly. Um, I had 11 weeks throughout that 68 weeks where I either gained or maintained. I did not produce a loss. One of the portions of my journey and my success is you. Uh, and you commenting and watching and supporting my journey and me being accountable to you. Me being accountable to me. Me taking the time each and every week for all 148 weeks to make a video. And evaluate and reevaluate why. Why did I have the week that I had? Um, I'm here once again to encourage you all to do the same thing. Regardless of if you're three days post-op, two weeks post-op, six years post-op. This is an ongoing journey. It does not end. Reaching your goal, um, as Grinlin and Begon said on Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works this week, shuts one door with another door opening to open right in front of you being at goal. Um, I've told you many times also that it is not easy to get to goal. It's not easy to change your life. It's not easy to follow the weight loss surgery rules. It's not easy to maintain the weight. So if you're considering weight loss surgery and you dare to think it is the easy way out, if you're not ready to do the work specifically with the lap band, uh, no, not for you. With that said, uh, thank you all for watching my photo reflection video. I so enjoyed making that video. I encourage you all to be a photo whore. Bam, bam, bam. Take those pictures, post them on Facebook. If you don't have if you're not comfortable talking about your weight loss surgery uh, on your Wendy Campbell Facebook, do what I did back in you know January, February of 2010. Make a YouTube, make a weight loss surgery Facebook, right? And mine is Proof WLS Works YouTube. Join me there. It is a social media platform that allows the support, the inspiration, the motivation, and friendship to be live, instant, bam, boom, ba, what's happening right now, as opposed to YouTube is you can watch it anytime you want, but many of us are posting once a week, right? Um, so it's a different type of interaction. But accountability, right? That's where I'm going with this whole thing is... Be accountable, um, and that's, that's what I've done, and your support uh, of me being accountable is phenomenal, and those photos that I take 
every day, all day, with my Blackberry messenger friends in the past and with my pocket peeps of today. Um, they help me see what I'm eating. They help me know what I'm eating. They make me aware and accountable. Uh, they allow me to see the new me, you know, and uh, I cried when I watched that reflection video when I watched it the first time all the way through. Uh, and I hope you like the um, two videos that had never been posted on YouTube before that were a part of that. So, last, uh, um, lifetime maintenance, right? So in July uh, 2010, I hit my goal weight, 145.6, uh, and I've been in maintenance a year and a half. Um, back in August, I decided, eh, go for 138. Get the bounce room, Wendy. I did. I got to 137.8, and I have a lifetime maintenance range, 138 to 148. That range is not one that will change. That is my range. Um, a little bit below my goal weight and a little bit above my goal weight. Uh, and my body likes 143 to 146. You know, it fluctuates. I'm a daily wear. I'm not emotionally attached to the scale, but I do like knowing what it says. It keeps me in check. So now as I enter into this new territory, past 1.5 years in maintenance, someplace I've never been. I've lost 60 to 100 pounds at least three times in my life, and I've never maintained that amount of weight loss uh, for anything longer than a year and a half. So for me, this is a critical portion of my journey. Uh, the next six months are the most critical today, um, and I'm in it to win it. You know, uh, I'm going to keep on making videos uh, as long as my life allows me uh, because I need this. Um, and I, I think you all should be doing it if you're not. So with the lifetime maintenance range, I decided that I didn't need to report my weight weekly. I share it with my pocket peeps um, every Monday. That's my weigh-in day. It's never changed, right? So um, last week, training for a marathon, right? Uh, my first full marathon is on March 18th, 2012. It's 26.2 miles if you don't know that. It's here in Los Angeles. I'm running with um, some of my favorite weight loss surgery heroes um, and those uh, inspirations that allow me to keep fighting every day. Um, Hua, Rainish01, Amy, Amy SD Mom, Joelle, Bypass Joe. And it will be the same week uh, of my surge anniversary. So March 18th, I run a marathon. March 23rd, I hit three years post-op. You know, so those are two big milestones I'm working on. And the goal is to be at goal, uh, 145.6 or less, um, come March 23rd, 2012, right? So in this marathon training, uh, what I've been working on is it's 20 weeks of training. Um, runs average on the weekend anywhere from 13 to 20 miles. Um, a lot of 16, 17, 18, 15, a couple 20s, a couple 13s you know, um, and of course, mileage throughout the week. So on the weekend long runs, I've been playing with, since the October half marathon, I've been playing with the carb loading. Um, and I don't eat carbs. I don't. If I'm going to eat carbs, it's going to be a cookie every once in a while. It's going to be this amazing peanut butter bliss bar across the street at the cafe. It's going to be a quarter of a cupcake because my husband and I are cupcake junkies, um, things like, it's going to be a Hershey bar, right? It's going to be yogurt land, it's, but it's not like carbs, you know? Uh, I don't drink fruit juices. I don't eat pasta. I don't eat rice. I don't eat bread. Um, I don't eat uh, candy, you know? Um, I don't eat carbs. So anyway, it, it's, it's a challenge. It's been a challenge, and I'm trying to figure out what works best for me. The video's getting long. So anyway, story here. Carb loaded, a different type of carb loading than I have been doing uh, Friday and Saturday. Friday, I was 145 pounds. Saturday, 146, 146.8, something like that. Expected. No sweat. I'm going to run 18 miles. It'll come off. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. 5 a.m. 154. 
let's just call it 154. 154 pounds. In 18 months, I haven't seen 154 pounds. A shock, right? But what do I do with that? I've got to run 18 miles. <laughs> Let it go, Wendy. Let it go. Go run your run, right? And that's what I did. Um, I knew that the weight would come off. I never seen a nine pound gain from carb loading, um, but I was gonna run. So I ran, um, I had a normal average day on Sunday. Uh, Monday I woke up, which is my weekly weigh in. I was 149.4. So 149.4. 149.4 on Monday in my weigh-in day is above my lifetime maintenance range by 1.4 pounds, right? Uh, the high end of my lifetime maintenance range. It was 3.8 pounds above my goal weight of 145.6. And it was a 3.4 pound gain from last week. Now, carb loading, I know it. Uh, my time of the month. At this point in the game, since about 5 to 10 pounds before a goal, it, it affects my weight. And possibly some swelling, uh, which occurs from long-distance running. I don't know. Either way, unfreaking acceptable in my book. What do I do? I'm aware. Number two, I share my weight with my friends and be accountable every week. Three, I asked some of my favorite weight loss surgery all-star heroes for help. I put up a seven-day challenge. They accept. Uh, winner takes 80 bucks, right? And I do it. So on Sunday, I weighed 154 pounds. On Monday, I weighed 149.4. Um, my strategy... As I shared with you already, accountability, awareness, honesty, friends, support, challenge. Um, it's a Tuesday to Tuesday challenge. Today is Thursday. My weight today, 144.2. Hello! 10 pounds lost since Sunday. For me, for me, if I do the freaking work... I can lose the weight. So I'm telling you, if you're out there and you're not losing weight, why? Why? If you have a medical condition, great. Um, if you don't have a medical condition, why? Are you counting your calories? Are you counting your protein? Are you drinking your water? Are you being honest? Are you being aware? Are you asking for help? If you have psychological barriers that are holding you back, are you seeing a therapist? Are you seeing a counselor? Do you need to take prescription medication for it? What is it? I'm telling you, if this girl can lose 10 pounds in five days, that's what I'm here to tell you. Do you hear me? Uh, and so 800 to 1,000 calories a day, 100 grams or more of protein a day, 101 to 200 ounces of water a day, 400 calorie burn a day, minimum one rest day. Um, I did the holiday detox yesterday. I see everyone in the world's out there doing it. I've been doing it since Christmas 2009. It is a tool. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Do not abuse it. It is not the answer to weight loss surgery and losing weight. It is a tool. Um... And I did a yogurt day today. Amy S. D. Mom is a huge fan of yogurt days. So I'm eating Greek yogurt, which is one of my number one weight loss surgery superfoods. I'm eating Greek yogurt all day. Much easier than the detox. Um, and uh, tomorrow I go back to basics. Um, protein first, all my water, same calorie, and protein counts and exercise counts, I'm telling you. I am not carb loading this week. Got 13 miles. That's a half marathon. Only a half marathon. I'm not, I'm not carb loading for it. I'm going to see how my body does. Um, 
So, you know, uh, I'm not sweating the gain. I didn't sweat it when I saw it, but I definitely was like, unacceptable. Nope, not going to live this way. Um, and I'm not. I'm 144.2 uh, today. So I'm hoping to win the weight loss surgery challenge. I'm up against some stiff competition. You know who you are. Uh, but I like a good challenge, and I like to win. So we'll see where I come in on Monday uh, at week 148 post-op, week 80 maintenance. So here, and, oh, okay, so no, I didn't see a change in the way my clothes fit. I didn't go up a size from gaining nine pounds. Was it just water weight from carbs? I don't know, uh, but it ain't working for me. And I got rid of it. So do the freaking work, people. And here is a body shot of me at 144.2 pounds. Uh, oh, table. Ah, right? Looking pretty good, Wendy. Looking pretty good. This, this is why for me. Why for me. Never going back. Never. So, do the work, people. Ask for help. Get support. Don't lie to yourself or anybody else. People who come out here on YouTube and make a video when they gain weight or they maintain and they dare say, I don't know why I didn't lose weight this week or I'm really mad that I didn't lose any weight. I, you know what? I'm going to call bullshit. Figure it out. Do the work. Ask yourself the questions. Um... Ask for help, follow the rules, and if you don't lose this week, see what happens next week. Three, three weeks in a row, you're not losing, you're not being honest with somebody. This journey is not about that. It's about being honest and doing the work. So thanks for listening to me. It's a long video, but 154 pounds, not for me. Thankful to be 144.2, 10 pounds, five days. Bam.